guys hi guys welcome back again to the channel so you guys a man was seen complaining bitterly and according to him he thinks Ghanaians do not make genuine money he has his fat i'm going to quickly let this video roll so that you guys will hear from the horse's mouth but before then he talked about the fact that he is a Ghanaian that has lived almost all his life outside of ghana and he decided to come back to his hometown to invest what he found when he got back he feels that if you're genuine enough you won't be able to afford such lifestyle he got schooled he said what he said and of course nigerians and Ghanaians reacted they made him believe that or more when you talk of people that make genuine money Ghanaians comes first so let me just quickly let these videos roll then we come back and talk more of it so watch this video we'll be right back so let me share my personal experience with you on why i think most Ghanaians do not make their money genuinely in this country so as a Ghanaian living outside the country for the first time um i decided to come back and try to invest in ghana and when i say investment mainly real estate right i decided to look into some apartment or houses and i'm currently in ghana came down it's been almost a week we decided to shop around with my real estate lawyer and we were looking at places like Cantonment airport residential area uh shiashi east Ligon, and those prime areas right and as you can see if you've been very observant there's a lot of apartment units getting built in ghana right now nine stories 21 stories and when we were shopping around we moved around all these places and surprisingly all the all the units were sold out it was all sold out bought mainly by Ghanaians. and likely for me i found one next to the lennox which is i just don't want to mention the company's name but that's right at airport residential area i was looking for a studio apartment um on on level six which was around one hundred and thirty thousand dollars and the least thing that they gave me was um 39 years which is the base lease terms 39 years and not just that after that you have a service monthly charge from 150 dollars per month to 300 dollars no 350 dollars a month that's after the purchase after you've paid $130,000 for the studio unit, you still have to pay a monthly fee of $150 to about $350, which can increase in the future. So there's no limit to the service charge. So let's say in the next two years, they, they decide to charge $400 per month. You have to be paying that $400 a month. So when I did my mathematics, I still realized okay you know what even if i invest one hundred thirty thousand dollars in this property right now um it's gonna take me about 20 something years to get my money back just looking at the positive side of things right i didn't factor all those you know downside what can go wrong and and, and all that stuff just focusing on the positive side it will still take me about 20 something years to get my money back but guess what all the rest of the uni the four bedrooms the third bedrooms the two bedrooms were all sold out many purchased by Ghanaians our mother Ghana they live in Ghana here and they paid cash for all those properties and foreign companies keep coming in and building because Ghanaians are buying them so my question was which is just a rhetor rhetorical question because it's obvious if you live in Ghana and you look at the average earning of a Ghanaian, there's no way anyone living in Ghana making money from the system genuinely should be able to afford those properties. It's not possible. It ain't it, 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 it possible, back about to say. Of course, people made him believe that when it comes to people that make genuine money, Ghanaians come first. So let's just quickly take a few comments, which I'll be dropping on the screen to find out how people reacted to. Someone said, people are making it genuinely, bro. Most of you think that because you live abroad, you are better off than those in Ghana. I'm a businessman in Ghana, never been to anywhere, just know where to invest, okay? he replied the comment someone said laugh out loud people are making it genuinely bro just know where to and how to invest be there people are making wild genuine money in ghana go to makola market and see most are owned by politicians and they are 
cronies, bro. So you know already. You're absolutely right, my brother. You know, in reference to Accra, I can agree, but you can't say name. You can't say same for Kumasi, Buberekum, and so many places where lands are less expensive. You just said the hard truth. Making money genuinely in Ghana is like shooting a gun and trying to get the bullet back. Ha ha ha. All real estates in Ghana only uses the account for money laundry. Only land and build from scratch. That's where you get your money back. Honestly, there are very rich men here in Ghana. They live right here, but are making it. These people are not salary workers. They are business men most of those properties are empty by the way people are living illegally but using it wisely money is money what what is illegal money please wow why pay extra mo monthly fee after buying so much the ghanian in him just popped up at the end i was shocked when he spoke ghana <laughs> ghanian language even with farming on last scale in five years making hundred and fifty thousand dollars is very easy to do those politicians crooks are the only ones buying these apartments they are owned by politicians i always say this no matter how many business you even own there's still some sort of mischievous act or some sort of dubious act that goes on to attain such income could be a little as lying they're actually buy it and take loans out it aren't easy to understand but yeah how can you be rich here in ghana if you are a salary worker yes these there are genuine ones out there though guy you they sleep come to takwa and learn people get money to buy these properties yet the state system is hard bro there is money in ghana the fact that you live outside does not mean anything what happens is is what happens is if you refuse to buy the service in charge in future i don't understand these gentlemen need updates but not willing to pay for the updates people are making good money in ghana here trust me we all know bro this is money there is money in ghana but not legit ways fact government officials hide behind civil civilians to buy you talk through how many teachers nurses it is can afford such a place with their salary keep playing you don't know we do we have a genuine money making system on this planet anymore and a rich man will never tell you his or her secrets bro you are right it's only a few Ghanaians genuine that are making genuine money even with one it comes from a source of, you know outside the country someone said just saw your video bro and your points bro the the unexplained wealth situation in my country is crazy bro anyone who argues with you is part of those who don't make legit money because how are you people affording the prices of these buildings in ghana but is entire africa not just ghana alone even market women you know how much they are making foreign investors are making money from ghana and we say there is no genuine money what I've learned lately is that most landed properties in prime locations are not sold out completely. Bro, this is serious. Why you get land and invest in it? You can possibly double your investment in few days and months to come. So you guys, what a lot of Ghanaians told him was the fact that most of these houses are made, are owned by politicians, even though they hide at the back of civilians to acquire those properties. Okay. At least their politicians still get respect. Like they still get an atom of fear. If the Nigerian politicians, they don't care. They don't mind owning it with their real names, okay? So what they are trying to say is that some people agreed with him, while some disagreed with him. But whichever way, I would like to know what you think about this video. I came across this and for free, I can tell you guys that a lot of Ghanaians that I know make their money genuinely, okay? That like kids living outside the country does not mean they don't have, they have billionaires living in the country. And Ghana is a rich country regardless so i also like to know what you think and yeah if this is your first time coming across this face do subscribe for more if you enjoy this type of content i will see you all in my next video stay happy be kind and be blessed share my videos and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up bye